it's really um, like man-made. Nothing yeah. is, and how like the world. Well, now we've got satellites, but however, the world like always kind of weighs the same. Yeah. Like, because we always take something from somewhere. <laughs> Which is quite, I like that idea. <laughs> and like that, it all transforms and goes back into the world and things like that. Yeah. And like, because like, even like Ed, he's like quite scared of death. Yeah. And, and the one thing that keeps him like not like okay about it is that he'll go back into the world again. Like yeah. he'll be buried and like be Just, almost, yeah, yeah and it, it's that transformation, it's quite nice. Yeah. And then it's also looking at like, um, especially with artists, like how their imagination is so vast. Yeah. Like almost to the point of being a bit like scary. Like I like the idea of like looking around and objects kind of turn into something, don't they? Especially in the dark. Yeah. I don't know. Like things kind of transform into something else, and it doesn't really. I like the nonsense of it all, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Mechanics that have gone into it. Yeah, it's not industrial technological or mechanical in any form at all is it? It's string, it's brass, fabric, cotton. So Kurt, tell me about the cat. About the, the lamb. Oh, a lamb. From uh, around 400 BC, there's this uh, legend of the vegetable lamb, which is basically a, uh, a myth that was conceived through trying to explain the, uh, not the growth, but the existence of cotton to medieval Europeans. And it interests me that this myth had sustained itself from 400 BC up into the 18th century, and there was very little uh, icon iconography, yeah. any imagery. And What's the significance of, of this? Of the, uh, well, well I'm, I'm getting to the, that. The so, wooden thingy. Yeah, so we've consumed all of our resources and we can no longer sustain ourselves, so we're dying. So this is like, oh, I forgot to mention as well that originally it, it, in the myth it's, it's a, it, based around where Asia meets Europe, like in the Ural Mountains, mm. and it's believed to be cultivated by the natives of the area. Uh, so this is kind of like a social commentary piece. I understand. I like it.